tomorrow. <laughs> Looking like there could be some complications depending on when you're headed outside, Dina? Yeah, definitely. A lot of wind and blowing dust as well. And for some people today, there was some heavy rain totals as well. Our old mill camera this evening showing that we have clear skies around, but gusty winds currently sustained at 20 miles per hour here in Salt Lake at a temperature of 73 as well and in Ogden too. So earlier today, we had about four tenths of an inch for a few places in Beaver, Utah, about 0.44 there and nearly three quarters of an inch at Sundance. So higher elevations got a little bit of rain today day and around Salt Lake City we just had yeah just a little bit a trace to about a tenth in some locations but now the big story is going to be the wind so you can see Utah County here highlighted in this tan color because we have a high wind watch for tomorrow we're expecting very gusty winds especially along this I-15 section as wind is funneled up here so we've had some rain showers throughout the evening those are now heading to the east and while we have clear skies it is windy out there at 73 degrees, though, with the warm wind out of the south. It will keep the temperatures pretty warm tonight. 65 in Lehigh and 56 in Evanston this evening at 63 in Cedar City and 65 degrees in Moab. Our next storm system, you can really see the sharp defined edge here of this cold front. It's now moving through Idaho at this point, and so it'll be here tomorrow after lunchtime. And the wind gusts with this are even as high as 50 miles per hour, but it doesn't have a lot of precipitation with it. So tomorrow expect a lot of wind patchy blowing dust, especially as this front moves through. And we'll even see an increase in that smoke from the south and west for just the time period as that front goes through and then things should shift a little bit. A chance for some scattered rain showers along the Idaho Utah border, but most places will just be dry and really windy. Do want to show you the wind forecast. We don't typically look at this graphic too often unless it's of concern, which it is. So looking at tomorrow afternoon, some of our models projecting wind gusts between 40 and 50 miles per hour. So as you make plans for your Sunday, this definitely is something to keep in mind in the afternoon, patchy blowing dust. So that is going to be a problem for a lot of us. As the cold front goes through, by Monday morning, it will leave in its wake very frigid air and the wind will be out of here by the time we go back to work on Monday morning. So it'll be kind of a quick mover once it's gone. All right. 62 degrees, though, tonight with windy conditions in Salt Lake and 65 in St. George. Tomorrow we'll still hit a beautiful temperature of 77, but wind and blowing dust just about everywhere. So southern Utah, wind and dust tomorrow, but then a nice week as we start the fall. Equinox is here on Wednesday. Temperatures in the 80s and 90s. And for the Wasatch Front, wind and dust tomorrow. And boy, oh boy, Monday only a high of 64 and starting at around 40. So fall officially arrives on Wednesday and here you go coming in like a lion.